Pagination. What is pagination and why do we use it in our flutter flow? Not just flutter flow, we use pagination in most oftenly everywhere where we are going to retrieve our data. Hi, I am Gaurav from Know How Academy. So let's understand pagination with a very simple example. Suppose you have a large amount of data and you want to get it on your front end. But retrieving a large amount of data can reduce the speed and efficiency of your front end. So it will take more and more time to load the data, which will make our front end slower. So that's why we use pagination to give a limited amount of data so that there won't be any kind of efficiency issues. So before moving any further, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we are going to enable paging in our Xeno and retrieve the data in our Flutterflow. Also, we will implement two types of pagination in our Flutterflow. The first one will be our infinite scroll and the second one will be our traditional pagination. So let's start. So in our database, I have a data which contains a thousand records. Now I want to retrieve the data and implement pagination. So first I will go to my API. In my customer API group, I will add an endpoint, select CRUD, select our table customers and select get and we'll click save. So here is our data. Here in our query all records block, I will go to output and here in the return section, I will enable paging and here I want to retrieve 20 records per page and here it is checked include metadata. So it will return the current page, next page and also total item count in our output. So when I click on save and again save, when I click on run, so here I am receiving items received 20, current page is 1, next page is 2, previous page is null, offset is equal to 0, total items and total pages. So here in our external section, in the page, I will add my input page and click on save. After that, when I run it and here I enter 3, so I'm getting my current page number three. So we have added our API. Now I will just click on publish and we'll go to our flutter flow. In the API calls, I will add our API call, copy the endpoint URL and we'll add the name. And in my query parameters, I will write page select variable create new variable and will give the variable type integer after that when i click on page number three so now i will test my api call and click on test so i have received my response now i will add items and And that's it. I will select items and click on save. Now in my blank page, I will add a list view. And in my list view, I will add a card. And in my card, I will add a text. And I will duplicate the text in a column. And I want to display my first name and company so here in my card first I will add the elevation of 2 and border radius will be 20 also I will give it a padding of 20 and in my column the alignment will be left aligned now in my list view, 
I will add the backend query. Query type will be API call. And here I will select customers and I will enable the infinite scroll. And in the parameter, here I will select the next page index. And after clicking confirm, I will generate the dynamic children which will be our customer's response and items and I will name it items and click on save after that I will add the JSON path here will be our first name and second will be our company company and confirm now when i click on test so here is our data now after i scrolled it down it's loading more and more data infinitely so this is our infinite scroll now if we want to use the traditional pagination so for that we need to create a variable here i will name it page number and will be type integer and initial field value will be one because page number must be one after clicking confirm I will go to my list view and on edit I will turn off infinite scroll and in the page number I will select the page state page number now in my app bar I will wrap it in a row and in my row I will add button and duplicate it I will give it even spacing and the button color will be secondary and this one will also be secondary I will name it previous and this one will be our next now here in my next I will add action update page state page number and action will be increment with one I will copy this action and here I will paste and here will be minus one so this is our next this is our previous now when I click on instant reload so now we can see we have only 20 records which is our page number one as you can see from our page state in our debug panel when I click on next so our page number and our data is being updated now when I click on next again here is our page number three I will go to previous now I'm back to page number two again previous I am back to page number one and if I click previous again there won't be any change and if I click still there is no change so in this video we enabled pagination in our Xeno and integrated in our Flutterflow and we learn two different types of pagination in our Flutterflow First is our infinite scroll and second is our traditional pagination. Thank you for choosing KnowHow Academy as your IT source. We are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.